हेलो डोरे मॉन्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो फिर टू डेज वीडियो वी आर बैक विद द डीजीए क्वेश्चन आई नो यू गैव आर बीन फॉलोइंग द आई आर ए वंस बट एज द डी सी एज हेडिंग इन नेक्स्ट मंथ ऑफ अगेस्ट सो आई हैव जस्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन विच इज आज इन द प्रीवियस डी सी ए एंड ऑल बी ऑल्सो पोस्टिंग एम सी क्यू सो मेक श्योर यू चेक दैट आउट सो लेट्स रेफर टू वट दे हैव DCA exam and this is the python part if you guys want java one um like you can let me know in the comments so i'll try to post that too as well so now let's get into the question so this is a pretty simple one and you can see the size of the code it is very small so the logic is very simple they'll be giving you two set of inputs one is the number of elements gonna be there in this tuple and they'll be giving you the tuple which each um element of the tuple will have three characters so what is the basic scenario is they will be giving you an entire string split it into substrings and you have to join them as a full string like this like whichever matches here for 42 y and here 2 y matches so after this 4 2 y a you have to add it again and for the next one y a and y a is common so 6 you have to add to the end so that makes this string so this is the basic scenario of this question so how we can do that is let me just comment this out so first thing is we have to get the inputs so the first part is i'm getting the input like int here we'll have the numbers and then we have to get this input which will be passed in one single line so we are going to just get it as an input and we have to again convert it to an list so let's do that i'm going to name it as ll and input so after this now we'll have this entire tuple in this ll but now we have to like separate them into three things like three separate elements like that so for that what we can do is first we can remove these braces so to ignore the braces you can just ignore the first and last character like l is equal to l of you can ignore only the first one you can ignore the zero and the last one which is minus 1 so now if i just print ll i'll have all the three elements now i'll split them based on these commas and then i'll make them as a list so how we can split that using the comma as we can just put ll dot split this split is function is to use to do cut down your inputs based on some symbols or like that so you can just put comma and here we can assign that to ll again so it will get stored over in the ll again now i'm just going to print ll and let's see what we have so now we have a list of these three separate elements now let's start iterating and then compare and we'll co join into a single string so for i in range of this ll so we are not going to consider the first one because this is basically going to be getting added to our main string so i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to declare a variable called main string ms and i'm going to assign the first element to it which is ll of 0 and we are going to start from only from the second element so here i'm just giving 1 to the length of ll or you can directly take this n also it will also work so you can also take n so here i will mention n so now what we will have in the i is we'll have the indexes but we want each of the character so again i'm going to iterate for j n ll of i so now we'll have separate separate characters and we are going to compare them whether they are in this main string or not so how this basically repeats is the last two characters and the first two characters of the 
alternate elements are same like here you can see 2y and 2y and again in the next one y a and also third one y a so we are going to compare only the last two characters so what i'm going to do is here for if like i'm going to compare if j is not in if it is not in like you can see y a will y will be there in the string a will be there in the string but six will not be in the string so if it is not there then i have to add it to the main string so here if it is not in the main string of minus two which takes the last two elements alone you guys must be aware of the slicing operator if it is not there then i'm going to add it to the main string plus is equal to j so now let's print j and c print of j sorry print of the main string now i'm just going to run it now we got this string so that's it so i'm explaining the logic once again so first i'm iterating through the list which is this list and after that i'm iterating through each of the elements and i'm comparing like the end element the third character is in this string or not if it is not there then we have to add the string so it is pretty simple i hope you guys understood and let's also try with the other input so next one is two So now I'm just running it. You can see this is the expected output. And that's it guys. Uh, this is a very simple one. I hope why not solve this and show you guys. So DCA is pretty not very tough to be cracked. It is also easy to be tracked. But please make sure you check the syllabus and the format beforehand. And last time it didn't go properly. So this time I hope you guys do it well and also get prepared as well for the coding part like this. You may get simple questions. This, this is just a thing of logic. And if you can figure out this logic in the given time, then TZA is crackable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and also comment down what you felt about this one. And make sure you like and share my videos. Thank you. And this is your video on Codorimon signing off. Bye-bye. Cheers and have fun.